what's up everybody, it's your boy Kojima Gaming, and today um, is another day of Minecraft. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a Minecraft video, I've done a bunch of uh, Call of Duty 4 videos, and I feel like in this one, um, I'm actually going to get some stuff done, because um, over the weekend I was at my friend Brandon's, and we played a decent amount of Minecraft in uh, some other games, and I just feel like it, I, I, it's been a while since I've done a Minecraft video. Or even played it while well, besides this weekend. And yeah, it just reminded me how much fun Minecraft is when you have other players. And yeah. So here I am making some Minecraft videos. Um sorry if I don't if it's not as good as it should be. I've had like some ideas of thinking about making a video of upcoming stuff, like I don't know, I've had a ton of ideas today. And yeah, I think I might actually go with some of them. Uh, so you guys know CTFXC, or I believe it's something like that. Anyways, well, I've noticed that he, he has a Games World Record for the most consecutive days vlogged in a row with over 2,000. He just... That, that's, that's insane. That's a, that's a lot of videos, and that's a lot of time on just that. And yeah, I noticed on my previous like Minecraft videos that they're doing actually really good. Like what the last one has like uh, I believe ten or so views. To me, I know that doesn't seem like that much to you, but for me, being a small channel, that means a lot because it means ten people took their time out of their day to watch my video, and I was checking the average view duration. Well, the average view duration is halfway through, and that oh, I think that's cool. I know that doesn't mean a lot to you guys, but my view duration used to be hella hello low like one second <laughs> like in the t like in the seconds and my videos are long as, as you guys can tell but yeah and then we're giving a crap ton of views and to me I just, I just that's awesome because hey that means people are actually watching it instead of just skipping it or something and yeah I think I might do like a time lapse of me mining down here like a split screen. I might have used another account on my Xbox to do a split screen of that. But not right now. Right now, we're gonna go mine up there. So let's go. Do 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 oh, kill chicken because no one likes chickens. Might go on a killing spree later. I think I'm I, as soon as I get enough iron I would try and do but that's kinda cheating but I might do it anyways. And I'm just chilling here with my coffee. Because, you know, coffee's good. Coffee. I love coffee. I could drink coffee all day. I don't know how many episodes of Minecraft I'm going to do. I'm not really sure. I'm still not sure. I was thinking of maybe going all the way to the end and defeating the Ender Dragon. Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. I might. I know I know some of you want to play with me online on this game. But the only issue is I don't have Xbox Live and I do not have home internet. If you're wondering how I upload my videos, um, I use my school Wi-Fi. I do it in my first hour on, on the school computer. And I know that when school's over in the summer, that that's going to be an issue of how I'm going to upload videos to you guys. And I've solved that by taking summer school. And I know I have summer school only to be like a month. So after school ends, I need to produce enough videos to last the summer. Then throughout the summer, I will create even more. And so basically, I got to figure out a whole schedule to last like a video a day for the duration of the summer. Except for when I go to my grandma's, then I can make another video there. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I thought this was going to turn into a house, but the more I think about it, the more I want to make it into like a base of operation, like do glass opening right here, and then have like a trap door right there. It comes out over here. Actually, that'd be really cool. I, I'm gonna move all my stuff up here. It won't take long, and then I can continue there because then I can make that my my uh, deep mine. That right there, that's just to collect resources and just for fun because it looks cool. This is my little farm. But this, this over here, this I can, I can just turn that into like a real cart thing. 
Aha, yes, I know what I'm gonna do. do, 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 do. Uh, la, 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 la. So I'm gonna move all my shit, and it won't take long. Uh huh. I will. Um. Alright, let's go, let's move all you. Oh, I know what I could do. I know exactly what I could turn that into. A mob spawner. Like all the resources I can collect from it and make and then make a mob spawner and use that to help me spawn more mobs, because in a mob spawner, once you get a maid, um, to get more mobs to spawn, you have to uh what's it called? Uh what's the word I'm looking for? You need to make it um Sorry, I'm placing shit. Eat. Eat. Okay. And then do 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 and then get the bed out. That's bed right there. Yeah. Basically, to get the mob spawner to work better is to uh, like have more caves go down and like cut out big pieces of land because that means less spots for them to go spawn at and you open up more spots that like you, you like basically you close all the spots where they can spawn and by destroying more areas where they could spawn per se what's the word I'm looking for like okay basically they spawn by like areas how normal mobs spawn you like God, I suck with words. Um, 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 let me figure how to explain this in my own head. Okay. So, basically a mob, like a normal mob, will spawn in like an outside plane like this. That's because they have all this area to spawn at. Well, at night time you notice that the bad mobs will spawn. Basically, if I eliminate, like during the day, that'd be when it's peak time to spawn. By the more area by in by like a hundred by a hundred square, I think that's the circle radius or the square radius that they'll spawn from from where you're at. The 120 blocks around you, I believe that's it. I'm not really sure. Basically, like I can destroy the inside here, and they would spawn inside you because it's it'd be a dark area and that would allow them to. But by having it lit up, they wouldn't be able to. Oh boy, that's that's not good. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh huh. Yeah, Alright, let's go. And, anyways, and by lighting up more areas, I'm just gonna take you, do, 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 do. And the more areas I would light up, the less areas for them to spawn at. And during the day, they would just spawn and spawn and spawn. And I believe if it would technically, if I were to make it 21 blocks deep, that's an instant kill. But if I were to make it 20 blocks deep, I can make uh, an XP farm. And XP farms are really useful because you can just, it, it is what the name it says it is, it's an XP farm. <laughs> And that could be immensely useful for me. Like, when you think about it, it really would be. Because I, for one, can do a lot with an XP farm. Because once I get, I, I can't get enchanted, like once I get an enchanting table, we're, we're game. Yeah, basically. Do, 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 do. I can't remember, this is what, like 11 or so? Episode 11 or so? Anyway, so I got a decent amount done. And I'm going to go to sleep, if you'll let me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.